Um, water efficiency and rainwater harvesting, um, eco housing very often does have uh, applications of collecting uh, rainwater from the roof. And uh, in the video with uh, Reynolds, you saw that he's promoting using only rainwater. And um, that's something what I absolutely disagree because I think we should infiltrate the rainwater into the ground and use good groundwater because we need the filtration. Like the rainwater has a lot of mm, substances that we don't want and uh, the aquifer is the best storage. So if you have seasonal rainfalls and you fill up the aquifer over the, the more rainy part of the year, you have a water storage that, uh, that is very long lasting, that has cold temperature, that is filtered, protected against uh, bacteria and so on. And you can always take it out fresh at a reasonable temperature. So in my point of view, the best choice for rainwater harvesting is groundwater recharge with uh, rainwater infiltration and then having a well on site and maybe some treatment for the water that you want to use for uh, cooking, drinking and so on. But of course cisterns do make sense for like gardening and so on. So it's, it's never black and white. It's, it's often there are downsides, there are upsides and it's the choice that you make that's the engineering part of it, to choose between different options and find out um, a good balance between the upsides and downsides. But the strange thing is that rainwater harvesting uh, is very often driven by companies that are selling you cisterns or pumps or machinery. So for them it's not very uh, interesting when you just infiltrate the groundwater and have your own well because they can't sell you big cisterns. So the companies are driving you into something what is not because it's the best choice but because they can sell their products what is completely okay but you are the one to decide okay for this site this doesn't make sense we make something that is rather um, well using the aquifer instead of a big tank. 